Hello there! I'm Scotty. You are not. Uh, welcome back to the Smallville Retrospective. Where we're looking at Season 1, Episode uh, Set 18. Uh, it's, <laughs> it's on Episode 18, Drone. Bees, 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 buzz, 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 bees, 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 bees. Did I mention bees? So, in our main plot, bees. Uh, no. There's a school election going on, and there are three prime candidates. Felice, who's played by Shailen Simmons of, uh, It1990 fame. Or you may know her more from stuff like um, Tucker and Dale vs. Evil or Found Destination 3. Yeah, she's been in stuff. Uh, and then there's Paul and then there's Sasha. Sasha. Sasha is our media freak god of the week and she can control bees because she was younger. She fell in one of the craters and got stung and it affected her. Stung a bunch of times. It affected her so now she can control bees. Sort of, kind of. So, Clark is convinced and tricked into running for student class president after Paul is taken out by the bees by Pete. And the bee plot. Lana not doing so good with the talent. It, uh, the beanery is taking up all of the, uh, uh, customers. Hear that? All the customers, and she has to find a way to deal with it. But then in the C plot, Lex is visited by a a uh, reporter named Carrie, played by Marguerite Moreau, who you may know from my Ducks series. Yeah, she has one episode appearance as a reporter who ends up being revealed to be working for Lionel Luther to write a bad story about Lex, but to wrap this little thing up, Lex ends up uh, bribing her with a corner office, and the the job at the, at the she works for the Metropolis Journal, so it's going to be uh, give her the boss position basically. <clears throat> and to wrap Lana's up, uh, she finds out from one of the vendors that the beanery. Uh, is not so good with its health codes, I think it is. And so, he uses that to get more customers back. And Whitney has one little cameo sitting in the corner. You just see him kind of sitting there with his friends at a table. That's it for Whitney. Pete has more to do in this episode. It's usually the other way around. But Pete has more to do in this episode as he's Clark's uh, campaign manager. Now, I'm not going to lie, this episode is not very good. <laughs> okay. When when shows do campaign episodes, I just usually go, uh... Because it, it... You see it so much. Every show set in a high school has done a campaign episode. Like, look at this. Um, this show did it. Right? Um, uh... Safe by the Bell did it. I think City Guys did it. <clears throat> I'm sure there have been various other shows that have done it. Just over and over again, the school election. <clears throat> it, it's just, I don't know. It's one of those episodes, kind of episodes where it's like, okay, it's been done. Now, it is in the first season, so they're getting it out of the way real quick. But that always goes the same way. Something weird happens in the episode. Our main character never wins. For most of the time. You know. Something interesting is going on. With the main plot of episode. Well this is basically the side plot. And our main character is involved in both. And by the end our main character does not. Become. The school president. Which Clark does not. Case was saved by the bell. It's also not Zach Morris. Although Zach Morris is the son I never had. Why did I say that? Anyway. Uh. But yeah, the school election episode. There was Big Wolf on Campus had one. Big Wolf on Campus had one, and Tommy was running, and guess what? He did not win. No, it, uh, 
went to Hillary, and that was all demon thing in that episode. Right? So I covered a spoiler action episode. I think Zach Files had one too. <clears throat> Although maybe not, because that one's a private school. But <clears throat> I don't know. Then you have the plot with the bees, and as I've mentioned before, I hate bugs. So, but they're like very CGI bugs, so these don't freak me out. They're CGI, <clears throat> so they're just <clears throat> floating around, and they always float around in a, a CGI swarm. And at one point, it makes a face. It makes Sasha's face. That's the thumbnail for this video, by the way. That's Sasha's face. Oh, that. that I mean, the picture may look fine, but when you see it on the screen and it's moving, no, it did not age <clears throat> very well at all. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but, yeah, and the whole B plot, the, not B, B, bzz, that plot, the plot with the Bs, I should say, is, uh, Kind of just, it's a B slash, or something that's done on Arrow years later and done better, in my opinion, <clears throat> with the Bs. Uh, basically, Sasha is taking out her competitors uh, with the Bs. She takes out Paul first, and she goes after uh, Shanice, or whatever the hell her name is, Felice. Now we die. Uh, Felice. <clears throat> and it's a really weird scene because Principal Kwan is trying to drive and, like, she's in the way. She's like, Felice! He opens the door and she's just covered in bees. Not screaming, not nothing, just sitting there covered in bees. <clears throat> it's a little weird. <clears throat> um. <clears throat> there is some plot points with the election thing where. Uh, Chloe, you know, she writes the school newspaper, so she has to, she has to, I guess she has to endorse someone. She has to be, uh, unbiased and support someone. Clark just, for some reason, believes because Chloe's his friend, she's gonna pick him. But she find he finds out that she's picked Paul, who's still in the running. <clears throat> and, uh... So he's upset with her for that. But it makes perfect sense. Like, one, she's trying to be objective, but she didn't do it on purpose. Oh, I can't pick you because I'm trying to be unbiased. But also, you gotta pick who's the best for the job. Clark has too busy trying to be popular that he hasn't come up with that hook, that angle to kind of, to be, a be, to, to give for that, like why he's running what his platform is he hasn't come up with that so you know Chloe is kind of in a right in this situation <clears throat> you know uh the ending with this where they did they did kind of foreshadow it where they said that if she loses control I guess with her anger the bees will turn on her and they do and she gets stung and the clock's able to defeat the bees <clears throat> with fire I think I don't know uh we do find out that she is alive she survives um very on, very later on in the season. <clears throat> I think it's like season seven. Whatever the one with Knox is. Season seven or so. <clears throat> but uh But yeah. Just this episode was okay. Uh there's a couple moments. There there are moments I noticed in the episode where Tom Welling and Michael Rosenbaum, they are just great on screen together. There's like a where uh during the celebration, he and Clark are talking about he's like, So did you learn anything? Yeah. That I'm not uh I'm not I'm not born to be a politician or whatever. He, he, and he asks Lex, he's like, So what about you? He's like, Well, I, I see myself becoming president one day. Which is a nod to the um to Hourglass, where the future showed he was going to be president. <clears throat> However, he didn't see that, so it could be that he's going back to that. He's just... He 
and stop with the goddamn hammering. You guys hear that? I'm trying to concentrate and hammer it. Anyway, um, so yeah, there's just those little moments between those two actors that, you know, shows how well they got along. You know, they end up playing enemies in the future. They got along and they do the podcast now, so you see they still get along. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to give this. 2.5 Superman logos out of 5. It's probably my least favorite episode of the season, to be honest. It just really nothing to it. And I realized it was the next one. I thought the next one was the Adam Brody one, which is actually the next one. So I thought this one was the Adam Brody one. And then it showed the bees. I'm like, oh. This one. So. Can you stop with the goddamn hammering? Anyway, what are your thoughts on this episode? Let me comment below if you like, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. I've been Scotty, and I'll see you in the next one.